In the city of Lipetsk, southeast of Moscow, Joseph Stalin stands in a place of honor. The new bust of the Soviet dictator was installed at the initiative of Nikolai Razvorotnyev, a Communist Party member in Russia's parliament. Stalin's statues began disappearing from Soviet squares in the years after his death in 1953. But in recent years, he's been gradually rehabilitated, becoming for many Russians a symbol of national strength. Here in Lipetsk, few locals acknowledge Stalin's legacy of deportations, show trials, and mass murder, which were hallmarks of his nearly 30-year-long dictatorship. But the whitewashing of Stalin's legacy has also prompted anger. A surveillance camera caught this resident of Lipetsk making an anonymous protest. Others are willing to speak openly about the history they know firsthand. My бабушку раскулачили, вот за счет его отняли все, сослали в Сибирь. Моя мать родилась в Сибири, поэтому меня очень это смущает. И это надо суку такую, это черт, ему рога если привесить, вот его надо снести. One person who wants to preserve the true history of the Stalin regime is Vyacheslav Bituski. Bags of human bones are a grim reminder of those massacred by the dictator's secret police force. Betutsky leads the Varanyaj city branch of the NGO Memorial, which documents the crimes of the Soviet era. Вот могила, которая была вскрыта в 90-м году. Одна из первых. At this former shooting range, Betutsky shows the remains of countless victims. Каждый город вот имеет вот такое огромное тайное захоронение. Возьмите, поищите у себя в городе. Despite that grim legacy, cities like Varanyaj and Yekaterinburg are also considering erecting their own Stalin monuments. Now in Lipetsk, scenes like this are becoming a common sight. The past is forgotten or swept aside as Joseph Stalin's cult of personality is burnished and revived.